Hello beautiful Cancers, we're here to answer questions about your love life, you versus them, clarifiers and outcomes. Let's see what's happening for you Cancer, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome and if you're returning, thank you again for supporting me in this work that I love to do for you. Peacefulness, so Cancer, Spirit is speaking to the fact that you're feeling calm at this time, you are searching for answers. Uh, in your love life and coming to the edge, taking a risk in love. Okay, so let's look and see. Now, this is going to be you, Cancer, in this reading. That's going to be your energy. Okay, this is going to be your person, your lover's energy. Okay, and this is going to be the clarifying cards for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on here. So, so for you, Cancer, in the recent past, you have fire in your belly. This relationship has been um, caused some concerns for you. You feel as though you've had to fight for it. Your person's energy, look at that. Wow, they feel as though you are the creme de la creme, that you could not possibly be more lovely, more beautiful. They feel as though you are their divine partner. Cancer, that's Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy. Let's see, your energy presently is one of feeling frustrated, bothered. There's something you don't want to deal with. You feel as though your person is bringing some sort of conflict, uh, some sort of truth, or some sort of decision that you don't want to make at this time. The Three of Swords, okay, so your person is feeling as though they're in a situation. Two and Three of Swords, very interesting, it is uh, Libra energy. So you may be dealing with finding out that your person has someone from the past, but we'll clarify it as we go. I can't, uh, looks like there's some sort of heartbreak, some sort of conflict, argument, not speaking, something is really, a, you know, something big is going on for sure. How you feel about the way you view this situation. Well, this is a person that brings you the greatest happiness that I think you've ever had in your life. The Sun card's the happiest card in the deck. It's Leo energy, optimistic. Your person's feeling left in the cold. So that's a very big stretch from the way that you view the situation. They feel as though, oh my gosh, cancer may not even be speaking to me. And I love cancer and I'm heartbroken. Let's see how you view them. The Seven of Swords, you don't think they're coming clean with you. You think they're sneaking around. They're not telling you something. So what we see here is you don't want to face the fact that you think that there's a third party is what I'm getting. How they view you, Cancer, is, wow, the Moon card. They think that you do not see things clearly that you're very emotional, that you're so up in your feels that you're not really seeing things in a way that's realistic. They also feel very underwater. They feel very vulnerable with you. They feel as though there's things that they don't know. This can also be both of you, you know, getting into this sort of energy of not trusting one another. How do you feel in your heart space? You like this person, but you feel if they're a lightweight, if you can't really develop a strong relationship with them, if the, the relationship with them, no matter how much you love them, may be one that you can't manifest. So when pigs fly. So for those of you who may be involved in a third party situation, that would give you this love, but love that you don't necessarily think you can manifest. How do they feel in their heart space about you? The Eight of Cups reversed, which means they are not going anywhere at all. They love you. They're sticking whether you want them to or not. How do you view the situation moving forward? Well, you feel as though you have competition. You feel as though there is a lot of... Um, battles that are taking place or will take place very heated you know five of wands is very ego driven energy you do feel as though you will burn the house down on the relationship if you have to compete with someone else you're not going to do it cancer period the end you're not going to partake so look at this they have the sun card reversed they feel as though you're their happiness but again they feel left in the cold 
How do you feel? What's a hidden energy for you? You feel as though there's nothing for you to do, Cancer. That at the end of the day, they have to work this out. How do they feel? What's their hidden energy? They, the temperance card reversed means that they want to get back together with you, but they feel as though you're blocking it because you're, looks as though you're not talking to them. I feel like there's, uh, you know, they're feeling very brokenhearted because it looks like you're, you've turned your back on them or you're not speaking to them. It looks like there's an ongoing fight going on that they feel that you're creating. What is spirit advising you for this week? Stay grounded, stay calm, cool, collected. The mommy card, be nurturing. It's a card of really saying be, be grounded, Cancer. And what's the advice for your person? Well, it's time to make a change. Wheel of Fortune, the destiny card is coming up in your favor. So advice for your person is take action. Jupiterian energy, Sagittarius energy. So they need to take action to solve whatever spiritual problems there are. And spiritual problems uh, in, of this nature would be take care of your business. Don't put our beautiful cancer in a third party situation. This is also the card that rules the house of uh, the legal system. So spirit could be telling your person, you need to go ahead and get that divorce. You need to go ahead and take that action to solve whatever this mystery is. What's your outcome for this week, Cancer? Happily ever after? Look at you. What's your person's outcome? <laughs> They're being grounded. I love this. This is beautiful. So your person is stepping up. Your person wants their happiness. Sometimes what I'm seeing here is a possibility is that you may have started dating. Your person said, oh, yes, I'm divorced. And then you find out that they're not actually officially divorced. So what I'm seeing here for you, Cancer, before we clarify, is that it looks as though by week's end that whatever argument this is, you know, concerning a third party, and it can be an ex-spouse too. It can be, you know, a lot of times people interfere in our relationship when they're not even in our relationship. And that's what I feel. I feel as though you think that a partner is allowing issues with an ex-wife, child support, children, whatever, to leave you out in the cold, that this person is prioritizing you uh, at a lower level and you're not going to really have it. So for whoever, for whomever that resonates, but that's a storyline that I definitely see here. Um, but let's look at the clarifiers. So let's see. You both want a new beginning, the full card Aquarius energy. So both of you want to start over. It, it does look like it's a fairly new relationship also. What's the current clarifier? The Ace of Coins making an offer. So it does look as though both of you want the offer, but you're turning your back to this. You're saying, you know, it's up to you to make the offer. You're the one in the situation that's calling for action. The Five of Swords speaks to the fact that you have had conflict with your lover. Your lover feels left in the cold. You're pretty happy, but you're pretty, you're really very uh, direct about this. You know, you're like, have the strength to deal with the conflict and end that old cycle in relationship. This is your messaging to your person that they need to put an end to the connection of perhaps a manipulative ex or an ex-spouse that's really undermining your happiness, but your person feels really very unraveled by this. Your person cancer feels as though you've rejected them, but you haven't. Okay, so what's the clarifier for all of this? Okay, so the Lover's card is clarifying the Seven of Swords and the Moon card. So whatever questions are going on right now, there is concern for both of you that you may have another lover, that you, you know, that, that you don't have a clear path forward here. According to this, though, I see a clear path forward, you know, because of your outcome. What else do we have here for the Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups reversed? Both of you are hanging on to the relationship. Although it's not going all that well at the moment, it doesn't look like there's a lot of forward momentum. 
There are conflicts that have to be resolved. And there we go, temperance resolution. Temperance in the upright is resolving the conflict. Your person feels as though they can't please you, though, and they feel as though there's no answer that's good enough. So let's see what the clarifier is. Yeah. Both of you feel left in the cold. When you can't resolve conflict with your person, Cancer, you both just end up feeling like utterly, utterly sad. You know, when we get the Sun card, we see two people who have come together that find one another to be their happiness. What else do we need to know? The hidden energy is there's, you both feel threatened that the other will lock you out. You both feel threatened that you'll, you know, that someone will leave. You both feel threatened that you'll be alone again and not in a good way. The Hermit card says that both of you really need to think about this in a more serious way. There's some introspection, some um, really self-understanding. You're being instructed to go within and, and neither of you are really going within. You're sort of pointing fingers. You know, that seems to be more the energy. What is spirit? Why is spirit recommending that you be grounded? Well, because you're dealing with somebody. And I do feel as though for most of you, this will be uh, your lover with a child. Uh, so spirit is advising you that, yes, this can be grounded. It can be stable. Uh, if you stabilize a situation, it shows that it can manifest. And with the Wheel of Fortune next to it for your partner, you do feel as though they're juggling two different families, two different relationships. Um, but again, I feel very much that for whom this resonates, Cancer, I feel as though you're dealing with someone who's divorced, who has a child with another person, something. And I feel as though you're not going to be juggled. Spirit is saying, though, that be generous, you know, stay out of any conflicts because your person truly can balance things out. Ha keep the faith. Come to the edge. Take the risk. Why do you have the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles? Well, both of you are feeling very bored without each other. It does look like this conflict has made you, has pulled you apart, not necessarily out of contact. Con contact. I feel as though you're talking, but I feel as though you've gone very quiet with each other. But you are happily ever after here. You feel as though each other, the, both of you have friends that are not giving you good advice. I'm feeling very much that, yeah, the, oh, good. So what was hidden here comes out into the open, that somebody that you thought may be a lover is not a lover. They're an old friend that got in contact with them, probably to give them some news about a mutual friend. I'm seeing that. Let's look and see. Is it safe to go in the water? Cancer. <laughs> You know, because Spirit is saying, come to the edge, so is it safe? Yes, you will not have a broken heart. That things will be resolved, and look at that. Oh my gosh, so that's the energy we have here. So it does look as though you will not have a broken heart. Your heart will mend. Whatever it is that you thought was happening here is uh, being resolved, you know, whatever the difficulties are. Let's look and see what Spirit is going to... Um, suggest for you cancer then we'll look at your partner what is the advice for cancer and love at this time with this relationship it looks fairly new with that fool card at the beginning um for some of you it may be reconciliation but i think for most of you it's new wisdom use your wisdom don't throw in the towel have some resilience cancer you know sometimes uh what happens is our imaginations you know, make us run away with uh, with our baggage, whatever baggage you're carrying. You know, try to try to come back from that. The unexpected is going to happen this week, which I think is your person coming forward and uh, trying to end the conflict or the difficulties. You feel really abundant by weeks and beautiful. Look at this. You know, you know more. You feel at peace. Abundance is yours. You feel happy again. You feel at least satisfied that the worst is over. Your person is, is being advised to take control of their lives.
to keep focused on relationship, a relationship in the past that needs to transform. So when we look at ex-spouses and divorces, we have to transform our relationships if there's children involved. There's not the ability to just walk away, right? Blossoming, your person is blossoming in their love for you. And they're supposed to surrender, surrender to love. All right, Cancer, sending you love from Chicago. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.